Hi, in this video we will present you how Bluestorm's control box works. Bluestorm is equipped with obstacle detection technology and therefore adapts to all types of pools regardless their size and shape without any specific setting. You just need to press on the power button to make your Bluestorm work. That will start the automatic cleaning cycle which will stop on its own after 90 minutes. However, there are also some other operation modes alternative to the automatic cleaning cycle. You can find this cycle's visual representation on the top of your robot and the more detailed version in the user manual. In this video, we will explain when and how to use these different modes. First of all, let us remind you a few security rules. The control box should be at least 3 meters away from your pool and plugged to a power socket that connects the circuit interrupter, as it is written in the user manual. Secondly, connecting the floating cable. The trigger of the connector should always be turned up and on the same level with the small line on top of the connector. You should plug it inside the connector until you hear the click sound. As explained before, it is the most common mode. Press on the power button to start the program and it will end on its own after 90 minutes. Let's look at the startup sequence. The red light, which means stop, will light up for a few seconds. The orange light will also lighten up, and after a few seconds your robot will start. Here, however, the robot isn't connected, so the control box will be in safe mode and will shut down itself after a few seconds, as you can see now. The next program cycle is timer mode. If you wish to program your cleaning cycles regularly or simply wish a cycle longer than the 90 minutes auto cycle, you can activate the external timer mode. In this mode, the control box will start as soon as it will receive electricity and will run until you plug it off. Once this mode is activated, the power button is disabled and the slave mode is applied with a standard programmable plug or the timer of a power cabinet. To activate that mode, you can read the instructions above your control box. Just like in the auto mode, just pressing the power button, followed by a second press and holding it around 6 seconds on the power button until the white LED light will lighten up. Here you go. The control box is now set in external timer mode and the button here is disabled. The control box will turn off by itself because it will be in the safe mode. Just to be sure that it works, we will cut Bluestorm's power and will restart it to see if right after plugging electricity it will start the cycle or not. Here you go, you can see that there is no need to press on the power button. Control box is automatically powered on. However, in order to disable this mode, you can see that when we press on the power button, nothing happens. We should cut off the electricity again and restart it. 5 seconds after plugging it back to electricity, Press and hold again the power button for around 6 seconds until the light on the top of the timer icon turns off. As you can see, the robot is once more in the standard mode. And now, auto mode will stop and get back to safe mode. We will now control if the motor is disabled by cutting its power. When we turn it on again, nothing should happen. There you go. As of now, start the cycle. You should press on power button again. It is important to keep in mind that it's necessary and recommended to take blue storms out of the water regularly to empty the filter and to dry it. 
when your robot is regularly in use, The second mode we will talk about is the filtration mode. It is the third mode that you can see on top of your blue store. It's a mode where the robot acts as an assistant to the main filtration system. Let's take the example of having a water circulation in your pool during the winter. Your robot in this case will do the following. It will move to a specific position for 15 minutes and do static cleaning. Then it will change its position and do the same thing for about 15 minutes again. This will go on for 4 hours. To activate this mode, you should do the same thing as we did in the timer mode. Press on the power button first and then press a second time and hold it. However, this time you should hold it longer, around 10 seconds. So, after 5 seconds, timer mode will be activated firstly and then in the end the filtration mode. You can see it's activated with the LED light lightening up the small icon that represents the filter. Your robot is now in filtration mode and now it's ready for a 4 hour cycle. Now it will shut off automatically. There is nothing necessary to do to disable this mode. At the end of each cycle it will reset. As you can see when I restart it starts with the auto mode instead of the filtration mode. Each time you want to run the filtration mode you should press once on the power button and then hold it for 10 seconds. The last alternative mode that I will talk to you is the slippery floor mode. It is not defined on top of your blue storm. To find relative information regarding this mode, you should use the user manual. The reason why it is not on top of your blue storm is its rare use. In addition, usually you adjust it once for all, without really digging it. It is a mode which specifically made for slippery floors like tiled pool steps. So when to use this mode? The ideal movement of the robot is around 90 degrees. However, the most important thing is, after a movement, the robot should hit a wall that is perpendicular to the previous wall. If you have a rectangular pool, and if your robot turns more than 90 degrees, especially almost 118 degrees, what happens is that your robot will hit the wall in the opposite direction, and it will only do back and forth movements. As a result, some parts of the pool won't be covered and the floating cable may tangle. To activate this mode, we follow the steps as before. Press on power once and then press again and this time hold it for 15 seconds. You will firstly see the LED light of timer mode. Then the filtration mode LED light. After 5 seconds, you will see the LED light all the way on the right, which will show you that the slippery floor mode is on. The robot will keep this mode even after you unplug it from the power. Let's control if it is really the case. I'm powering the robot again for an auto mode and you can see that LED light of the slippery floor mode is still active and we can use its control box in auto, timer and filtration mode all by keeping the slippery floor adjustment. It has no impact on the functioning of the other models. The only difference is the rotation sequences will be shortened so that Bluestorm won't oversteer. To disable this mode, we will do just like we did to activate a short press followed by a long press around 15 seconds. We will pass through timer and filtration modes and hold it until the LED light all the way on the right will turn off. The top of the blue storm is now in the standard mode. We will let it turn off.
we power it again and you can see that LED light all the way on the right is back to the standard mode ready for an auto cycle. Here you go, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. I hope it will be useful for you. For more tutorials of products, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Panther Aquatic Systems EMEA or download our PIP scanner app on app stores and scan the PIP codes that are either on the packaging or on the products. In our case, our PIP code is just beneath the top tank of Bluestorm. With only a scan, you can have access directly to user manuals or videos or even spare parts and other documents. Thank you!